What a mess. <laughs> So today, I want to talk about my Imperial College London interview and that happened last year around this time. Spoiler alert, it did not go that well and uh, kind of why I think it went badly and some advice of what I wish I would have done before and during the interview to better prepare. I have had more than one interview obviously for university but only one interview for like uk universities which was for imperial and i got an interview for medicinal chemistry i live in spain so i had the option to have it either online or have it in person and i decided to do it in person because i had never had an interview in person i kind of really wanted to go to london and like go see the the campus i took a one day off from high school and i went with my dad, uh, got an Airbnb, stayed the night before, then had the interview on the day, and then left the same day. Notice the commitment, okay? Um, how the interview works is that there's various interview days, and in every interview day, there's like a group of people that are getting interviewed. And in that group of uh, interviewees, <laughs> you get split into different groups as well. And depending on at what time of the day you're doing the interview. So for example, if you had to catch a flight really soon, you would do it in the first period of interviews and then you would leave but the general idea is that when you weren't getting interviewed you would be getting like a tour of like the facilities and the university and everything like that which was very nice and i really enjoyed and the people that were giving it were super nice we also had the chance to talk to people who were already studying the course and that was also very helpful the actual interview was two interviewers and you yourself what they generally tell you it is it's that the interview is going to be half about your personal statement and half about your knowledge and the things that you know about the subject that you're or the subjects that you are applying for uh, basically when i went in they sat me down they introduced themselves and the first thing that they said to me was like we already read your personal statement we already know why you're here we already know why you apply now let's test you so mind you this was going to be like a half an hour interview sort of 20 25 minutes depends on how long you drag it out and it was going to be solely questions i've always studied chemistry which is what i was applying for in spanish and so a lot of the terminology was like foreign to me i did have a little bit of a language barrier there even though like i'm fluent in english but like obviously a lot of the specialized terms are like kind of hard to i guess um decipher because some are very similar to the ones in my language and some are completely different regardless uh they asked me a few like basic questions what i thought were like very reasonable questions like um the ph equation that was fun uh they asked me to write like an acid-base reaction like very basic questions basically they started asking more complex questions and there was clearly a communication issue because i was answering something to what i thought they were asking but obviously that was wrong because they would correct me as in like no we're trying to get this and i just like i did not know what they were trying to say i was getting really nervous and really anxious because of it and then i started like being a mess and like all of my <laughs> thoughts started getting muddled and it was a bad experience in general basically it felt like five minutes of me just like stuttering and saying nonsense and then they were like okay we're done you can go and i was just like what a mess like, i was really sad and obviously i came back and when you came back everyone who was getting interviewed was there and they kind of like were like what did they ask you how did you do and i was just like badly like horribly please don't ask me i'm very sad and then i flew back and that was basically the story after like two weeks or so i think they took they rejected me and i was like cool because like honestly if i was like the interviewer for my interview and i was interviewing myself i wouldn't have accepted me either so like i understand your decision <laughs> so things i wish i would have done and things i think would be helpful for everyone to do before an interview first of all obviously is brush up on your knowledge of whatever you're interviewing for like your course uh don't try to learn anything new i would say like trust what you already know but do review it so that you have it fresh in your mind and you can like if they ask you something you can like answer it straight away and be confident in your knowledge because i am a person that even though 
I know something is right, I will second guess it because I'm super afraid that I got something wrong. It's completely okay to make mistakes as long as you know and you're like, okay, yeah, that was a mistake on my part, but like, I know what that is and like, I know what you're trying to ask me and I know the answer. So let's read a personal statement. Personally, I didn't get asked anything about my personal statement, but there are a lot of people who do get asked about their personal statement, especially if you have any books that you've like mentioned in your personal statement that have like helped you or like shaped you in any way. Do read them or reread them or trying to like get more familiar with them again because they might ask something about it and <laughs> you don't want to be the person that hasn't read the book. I saw like an advice somewhere, I'm not really sure so I can't get credit, but uh, that they said basically go through every line of your personal statement and make sure that you can like explain every part of it like in detail. What was your thought process and like why do you put it? Like what what does it contribute? Since it's something that it's so much more personal to have it prepared because I feel like it's much easier to have nice answers about your personal statement because you're just answering about yourself rather than have nice answers for like theor theory of your like subject. Try to get as much practice as you can if you have anyone who can interview you, like mock interview you. Just try to mimic the interview atmosphere, which for me was just like a table, two people, and like a lot of paper for your write and a blackboard so that you can also write in it. Have someone ask you about your personal statement and also if they don't know anything about your subject, like giving them your notes and like have them ask you something about it. It's not gonna be exactly the same because obviously the people that are interviewing you are mostly gonna be people that really know about the subject, that have PhDs on the subject and they're like really, really smart and like really know their stuff and they will probably ask you something that doesn't have a clear answer and they just wanna see how you think about it. But like do like it's al always nice to just have very clear like all of the answers to the questions like of your subject that you already know. If you have friends that are applying also to university, have them interview you even if it's online now because it really does help you. They I would say that most of you are probably going to um, be in the same stage of like getting interviews, so it would be nice for you to interview each other if not just like try your parents, try anyone really, like as much experience as you can get before the day, it will help you a lot with your nerves. The day or so before the interview, I'd say don't really like stress, try not to stress about it, try not to think about it, do something completely unrelated to it. I had to fly there and then the whole night I didn't have anything else to do except sit down in my Airbnb and be like, oh my god, what am I gonna do tomorrow? What's gonna happen? Like, they really try to make it really chill at the start, they like give you an introduction on the course, what you're gonna do, da da da, and then they you do like get to talk to the people and what I said before. So they do try to make it more calm and like more personal at the start. Obviously, I guess with the current times they're all doing it online. So during the interview, I would say try to answer everything out loud. Like try to like explain your thought process and really try to listen to what they're doing and just give the interviewers the answers that they are asking for. Try not to go on a tangent because that's just, that comes across as if you're trying to waste time, I guess. So do try to be specific, but obviously give details uh, as to what you're talking about. It's like a nice balance. I want everything that I want, that I, that I say to be relevant, but I also want to give a lot of detail, get my point across very well and very like clearly. After the interview, I would say just, forget about it. The decision is no longer in your hands, so do try to not stress over it and go on with your life. And then if you get in, then wonderful. And if they don't, that's completely fine. You'll probably find some some place. You'll, you'll find your place somewhere. Just try after the interview to just not keep thinking about it and keep thinking about your errors and things like that because that was a big source of nervousness for me and at the time i live in spain again so like it might not apply to you i was already kind of like in exam season for me so that was just like an added stress bonus remember that not everything is up to you you can only do your part and obviously luck plays a big role in this what interviewers you get what kind of questions they ask you like how you're doing in that particular day like your mood and the mood of the interviewer you can't control those things and like that's something that you have to accept and like you already got the interview so 
just like be proud that you got the interview because that's a really big step like just to get the interview you had to be picked from a really big group of students so just trust in yourself that you have what it takes because they chose you and clearly they chose you for a reason unless you're lying in somewhere in your application i'm not gonna get into that so yeah i hope that if you're gonna have an interview i hope you do well and i hope that you get in i'm cheering you on and that's the video i hope that you liked it i feel like i'm not very qualified to give my opinion about this because i know that there's so many other people that have more experience with interviews that are interviewers um and things like that but i guess like any opinion is valid as long as you're trying to help. At least when I had the interview before, it helped me a lot to just look up all of the opinions that everyone had because it just helps you know what you to expect in general. But I like, do take it with a grain of salt that I just got one interview. So I everything that I say here, even though it's kind of general, it might not apply to your university or kind of what you're applying for. Uh, if you have anything else you want to ask, do leave it in the comments and we will try to get back to you because I'm obviously not the only one who got an interview at university, so probably the other girls have a lot to say as well. Uh, I just wanted to tell my like interview story, I guess. And um, yeah, if you like the video, like it and subscribe uh, because we do have a lot of university content that we are planning. I'm just gonna go. And I hope you have a good day. Bye.